Back again. Well, they say the third time's the charm. Let's see if that holds up. Oh, uh, one more thing. I know I keep interrupting it. It's okay. Uh, <laughs> I actually, I act the video I sent you with the Wario apparition. Yeah. Uh, the reason I sent it to you because I just thought it was kind of, kind of funny that like, <laughs> even though it's supposed to be scary, Mario just walks up and then all of a sudden a, Mar a Wario head just appears. Pierce yeah. and Pierce in a spotlight on tomorrow. He just like turns around running. Mm -hmm. But um, I sent it. I find it was funny, so I sent it to you, in the group chat, and my friend uh, Blue Blur. Yeah. And this was at like exactly at midnight. A few yeah. minutes later, he said, "I screamed," and I said, "My work here is done." And then he said, you monster. Uh, why would he scream? <laughs> I mean, I guess... I mean, it's it was in the... It was at midnight. You hear that, like... When you're tired, your brain works a little bit different. You're usually in a more delusional state when you're tired, so... Or maybe the theories about the shared nightmares are true. Remember, don't panic. You tell Sans that he's the bonely one for you. He looks perplexed. What in the world are you doing, human? Huh. You sure like flirting with danger. Sans continues to look puzzled. You say your life stands him would be incomplete. Suddenly... Sans! Do you realize what this means? Uh... Try me. Don't you see? We're in a love triangle! The human loves us so much, they simply can't decide! We've trapped our heart in a game of tug of war! Right. Well, I am a very selfless skeleton! And my brother could use someone to keep him motivated. And perhaps luck could prevail in this trying battle. I don't know, bro. I'm a tough guy to please. <laughs> You're a perfect match. That was not for Pirate's Love. I'll make preparations after our fight. Well, that's just happened. Hmm. I think I'm going to need an accordion. No. How are you supposed to date me if you leave? That's just another reason to turn back. Sans chugs a bottle of ketchup. How romantic? You wiggle your eyebrows with Sans this shrugs. Don't overdo it, bud. Are you mocking me, brother? You need to make a good impression! Think of your future love life! Uh, I don't know, Pat. This catch-up's a tough act to follow. But who am I kidding? I know the kid won't back down that easily. I've been to you twice, and yet you keep coming back for more. Never expected I'd get a workout like this. Dance muffles a yawn. <sighs> you ask what it'll take to prove yourself. Easy. You'd have to last till I run out of steam. Honestly, I'm surprised he's still going. This is a new world record. Well, I think the humans done a remarkable job. True. You made it this far. But I think it's time I took one of my illegally required breaks. This would be a good time to head back, because after this, I'm going all out. Sans pulled out a hot dog. You asked Sans if he has a spare dog. Nope. I left them in the soccer dimension. Really, Sans? Actually, take your time eating. Happy break time. Sans whips out a ketchup bottle, holding it close. Another one? 
Where do you put all these bottles? Where you put that thing away? You're making the human hungry. Uh, pretty soon they back their own snacks, bro. Santa's slowly drizzling ketchup over his food. Dang it! Now I'm hungry too! Santa starts staring longingly into the hot dog's eyes. Wait, hot dogs have eyes? This is like, it's uh, that one theory of Sonic.exe where Sonic's a cannibal and his chili dogs are all the dead animals. Sans, are you a cannibal? Oh, <laughs> except it doesn't have eyes. He's staring at the ketchup. Okay, that makes more sense. See, this is why you need the bait. I brought an earthen toxin doubling your speed for two turns. Well, back to work. I hope you're ready for this. The end is sweating. You ask if you've proven yourself, but he hesitates to reply. I am honestly impressed! Have we really motivated him that much? I don't know if it's just me, but my papyrus voice sounds a little bit off today. From yesterday. Okay. Does it sound fine to you, Chloe? to the human! Is our teamwork not proof of our undying resolve? Well, that's not the issue here. It's at the end of the day, there's one big reason to want you dead. What a pain. You ate the unicycle. Your HP was maxed out. But... It ain't just because of the past. That's just one piece of the puzzle. Then what's the other piece? Didn't you read the crossword? Wait, did Sandra re reply to Kara? We have six souls. It takes seven to break the barrier. <clears throat> I think you can connect the dots. You reapplied the bandits. Still kinda gooey. Your HP was maxed out. <laughs> Another successful concoction! Your defense doubles for two turns! Now do you get it? Everyone's tired of being trapped. Everyone's dying to see the sun. To them, one can mean nothing. It's a sacrifice for the greater good. Truth is, they probably expect me to do the dirty work. But deep down, I know. It's not what she really wants. Look, you're lucky I'm even doing this. Do you know how easy it'd be for me to kill you? Too easy. Jeez. What does that make this? Quice? Thrice? Let's just get to the point. Really? You still haven't had enough? Just my look. He can't keep that list forever. He calls Santa Bonehead. He just shrugs again. When will it end? <laughs> Seems all attacks are blue this turn. Take that, Sans! You're something else, kid. But I guess it's what you get with determination. Sans heaves a small sigh. Is he relieved? But to be honest, I'm getting tired of all this fighting. Keep this up, and I'll have to use my special attack. Sans is preparing something. So I'm not going back down. Well, survive this, and I'll show you what I can really do.
Alright, you asked for it. Here goes nothing. Yep, it's literally nothing. And it's not going to be anything either. Yet, the way I see it, you've got two options. Give up and accept things as they are, or stand here in the cold twiddling your thumbs. You'll get bored, and maybe that account start looking pretty friendly. No? Well, I've got all the time in the world. Sans! What, bro? I... I just don't understand! The human overcame all your attacks! And I distinctly recall you saying that! Papyrus... Look, you really think we want this? She's tried. Hell, she's been trying since before we were born. But sometimes the ending's gotta be bittersweet. And if they stay, their soul could still help us one day. It'll take decades, but at least our freedom would be guaranteed. And do you really think they'll be happy this way? Perhaps we could make them comfortable, but even if Snowden is safe. And even with the ruins open to them, that's still so little space. They'd just be our prisoner. Well, but sir beats the alternative. I know I shouldn't be keeping secrets, but I believe we have a better solution. And I... I, I want to choose this lightly, Sans. Not after I... Bro, you can't expect me to run on blind faith. Just give us a chance! Let us continue on our journey! Let us prove that humans can be kind, and there is still hope for a peaceful solution. If we told the Queen, if we work together, then we could change everything! But keeping them here will only prolong the status quo. So please, sons, let us take this risk. Sons, don't you believe in me? You ask what you'd call a skeletal dog song. <laughs> It's death metal, right? Man, even after all this, you've still got jokes to spare. You really are something else. I hit you with my best moves, but I can see there's no stopping you. Or me, for that matter. And I'd hate to see you unhappy. Now, technically, I can't let you leave. Let's say I'm catching some Z's. And you just so happened to catch a boat to waterfall while I was down. Well, they can't blame me for resting up with a human on the loose. Then y'all really? Hey, we all make mistakes. And besides, I think I owe someone a date. So, guess that's it. Chloe. Yeah. You want you want to do the um, date part? Sure. To, to finish this episode up. Yeah. All right. So, guess that's it. Give yourself a pat on the back. I'd say you earned it. As for me, I'd better take a little power nap. Just, uh, give me a tap when you want to start that date. Wait! What's up, kiddo? I'm sorry for all the trouble. Eh, I'm no stranger to love, I mean complications. You're just a special kind of complicated. Just promise you'll look out for my brother, alright? Well, that ended better than I expected! Yeah. By the way, I think she's sticking up for me. I mean, if what Sam said is true and you really need seven... Human, please! You needn't trouble yourself with that! But... Why don't you rest up for your date? You've earned it! Alright, we'll talk later. Well, human, after countless hours of deliberation, 
and digestive romantic records. I am officially a dating expert! But did you read some romance novels? And so do Mango Mangoes plus some video books! Are you serious? Knowing Papyrus, it's a foregone conclusion. Well, this will be interesting. Now, while I'm certain you're nervous, fear not! As soon as you're wingman, I have prepared something special! Behold! Oh no. Come on. Give me a sec. Accidentally did something. Come no, on. not something. Someone sent me a picture of so someone sent me a gift of someone brushing a rat on the Discord. Alright, there we go. Oh Papyrus, if you wanted to give me your heart, I would have Hey! This isn't an ordinary heart! In fact, this device is an enhanced I mean it's advanced romantic interface! I call it the definitive of more ascetical electronic. So, it literally stands for date. By coincidence, I assure you! <laughs> well, I'll definitely keep it in mind. Great! Then let's commence with the romancing! Now, remember your secret technique! If you're clumsy, the odds of accidental kisses increase by 75%! And don't forget to look kawaii to make it Coco Rogo Doki Doki. Wow, Pep. That was so so goy. Of course, for I am the great Sen Pyrus. <laughs> oh, Sen Pyrus. I'll take good care of your pony Sans. Well, good to talk to you, eh, kiddo? Um, right, so where to? Well, I was thinking something low-key. I mean, they do say home is where the heart is. Don't you mean go- Oh, whatever! Go forth! For love! For the- For the word for romance! Um... Sans, what's all this about? Burgers and donuts! A wholesome romantic meal! But seriously, if Pops expecting us to go all anime, yeah, best to play along. Now I know how to get the rice ball rolling. No way, is this? The vintage dub with all its stupid censorship. Nicked it from my boss's trash a few months back. So, what do you say, kiddo? Bring it on. Oh, Sarah, my familiar love for you burns as bright as an inferno. Okay. Um, can you do an an okay, I was gonna say, can you do an anime voice? Yeah, that's good. Yes, my cousin. I too have a deep platonic affection for you. I want to stay by your side for all eternity as family. Bang, bang! Open the door! We know you have the secret artifact. Now surrender in the name of anger and sadness. I think that's you. Me? Yeah, right. I think that's Fritz. Okay. Either somebody had a field day with a digital paint, or these guys went to the lawyer school of intimidation. Why are both? Head cannon accepted. Stand by. You pathetic fools! Now that I have the secret artifact, all the world's love and happiness shall be mine! Not if we can stop you. I have platonic effects that will never die! <laughs> well, you're insolent! I shall beat you into the next dimension! Uh, that's, uh... Uh, Kitty Mew Mew. Actually, I'll be Kitty Mew Mew because... I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, uh... Mew Mew Kitty, or... I have to... Let's just call it Mew Mew. Uh, you'll see why later on. Not so fast, that inferred gift! Wait, is that supposed to be an acronym? Yep, it stands for Generic Evil Villain. 
I'd buy it. Meow Meow Missy Cute! I mean, Meow Meow Kissy Cutie! That's right! And with my cutie, my kissy cutie love beam, I'll make sure you'll never destroy the world's happiness! Just you wait, doo doo, sissy fruity! I have the. I have the. <laughs> We're gonna keep it kid friendly and go for the center. I have the flipping strong! I will make you go the way to the savage stiff tiger! Wait a sec. Isn't our token mascot a saber cat? That, my friend, is what we call dramatic irony. Or oh, crappy dubbing. Take your pick. Bing, bing! Rah! Kapow! Oh, thank goodness! I can see their parasuits! They're okay! What parasuits? There's nothing there! Too bad it's Sunday! If those people weren't in a church of ambiguous religion, they would have all been destroyed! I can't take this anymore, you you, know, you, you smelly chimsa! Your reign of evil is at its end! <laughs> evil laugh! Don't be too sir! This is the eve of my ultimate appearance! Behold, the power developed by your father! He may have been a wimpy soldier, but he was a brilliant scientist! No! Now, disappear! Reign of evil! Did they seriously paint faces on those blood drops? Yep. I thought they were ketchup! Oh, Mew Mew, your sparkle friendship kiss. It's melted my evil skin away. I now understand the value of friendship, a mercy. What a romantic ending! Oh, Prince Coon, my love. My love is for you. It's like the Bondi's cousin, there, only depicted in a romantic light. I want to stay with you until the end of time and have lots of babies brought to us by the snail cherubs. Alas, my beloved, I cannot stay. I have sinned, and so I must go back to the dark universe. That will always remember you in my cocoa heart. Goodbye. No! This isn't happening! How will I live without you? What am I fighting for? Wait, why would a kiss kill him? That doesn't even make sense. Well, apparently the original version had her stab that gem on his chest. But, but, they were supposed to have snail babies! Hey, Pap, how about a donut? They always cheer me up. Yeah, and jelly filled are my favorite. Nothing beats a jelly filled donut. Frisk has, Frisk has been possessed by Brock. Well, maybe this one. No, how about I pop in another? Are you planning to spend the whole date watching those absurd cartoons? Yep, uh, so it was. Sands! This day is supposed to be special! You should take the summer romantic at once! Eh, alright. So where to, kiddo? Where will you go? And I did say it's a good place to pick up chicks! But how will chickens help us when it's so filthy? And wet. And out of the way. Let's, uh, save Waterfall for after the date. Alright, bud? Normally I agree, but after last night... Eh, let's give him more time. Kid, unless you've got a date with death, I wouldn't recommend it. Well, yeah, I'm dating you, remember? That's, uh, not what I meant, bud. Hey! Is your is your affected statistics high enough? Yeah. Are you so ready to witness my inner sandstorm? Sandstorm. It's a pun on sanctum. Sandstorm. Let's just leave it at that. I've dreamed of a day when I finally see my Sandpie's room. Oh God. Whoop. Well, Follow me. Dang, you weren't kidding about that tornado. Well, if you want to give it a spin, just say the word. Hey, 
What the laser bones like you doing with a treadmill? Hey, tread lightly. That thing's expensive. Besides, as lieutenant, I can't just afford to just mill around. Okay, I walked right into that one. Only the most grizzled huts, huts hunks use teddy bear weights. Beware their might. Plushies, really? They're part of the stay in my art workout routine. Careful though, I tend to get smelly when I'm pumping iron. Okay, but even if I did work. Er, sorry. Okay, but even if. Oops. Okay. Okay, but even if it did work, how do skeletons sweat? What? Nah, that's just hot dog grease leaking out. And papyrus? Kid, he can walk on air and make googly eyes pop out of his skull. Are you really gonna question him? Touche. It's a wardrobe. Inside are several blue hoodies. Upon closer inspection, you find a lab coat tucked in the back. Heh, <laughs> don't mind those. But that coat. How would you figure it out? It's in the crossword. Then why'd you join the Royal Guard? That's, uh, personal. And besides, times change. No point in dwelling on the past. It's a framed drawing of three smiling people, written on it. Don't forget. This laptop's browser is open to some blogging website. It posts this largely of image macros made from bad puns, and a lengthy fanfiction about a ketchup bottle's love triangle, with mayonnaise and a hot dog. And yes, you read that right. Explain. My boss is big on that fandom stuff. He kept telling me to give it a shot, so... So you wrote about condiments. What can I say? I take my lunches very seriously. You poke the waterbed, it swishes around. You poke it again, and again, and again. It's hypnotic. Pretty sweet, huh? My bro waked it up when he enlarged my room. Say of the art, to stand for maximum coziness. And may use tech from an ultra dimension. I mean, the comfort's out of this world! Ah, the fabled pillow fort of legends. Bask in its majesty. As you pat one of the pillows, you hear a strange sound. <laughs> Chloe? Bye. Sans, are you serious? Well, they are whoopee cushions. Oh my god. That's so stupid, it loops back to being genius. You beautiful troll of a skeleton. And that's not even the best part. Take a closer look. More socks lay between the cracks. <coughs> I really should have seen this cut. It's a self-sustaining trash tornado. Now with extra hats? I feel like I'm missing a punchline. So, uh, hats off to that, I guess. <laughs> I used to collect hats when I was younger. Kind of all they have it, but I kept some of them for the heck of it. And you keep them in your trash tornado? Yep. It was just whirling around, being a nuisance, so I put it to good use. You know, you could have just got a hat rack. Why? So people can stop and whistle at my rack? Now that's just inappropriate, kiddo. Is this a bathroom hat? And to no one's surprise, socks liver to edge is... So my bro made this crazy machi machine to enlarge my room, right? So I figured, hey, if we can make a room bigger... Wait, why a bathroom mat? Kid. There are some things you don't need to know. Besides, I gotta hide my socks somehow. As you lift the mat, you find several saucy magazines. 
Ketchup Confessions, Mustard Monday, Relish Revelations. Sans, it's time to acknowledge that you have a problem. Hey, it's only a problem when the bottle gets empty. <laughs> <laughs> 